Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How has Hurricane Helene impacted voter turnout and polls in Florida? Hurricane Helene has significantly impacted voter turnout and polling arrangements in Florida, particularly in the counties that were heavily affected by the storm. Following the hurricane, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued an executive order to provide flexibility to election supervisors in 10 impacted counties. This order allows supervisors to relocate or consolidate polling locations if the original sites were damaged by the hurricane. Under this order, supervisors can set up new voting centers and provide proper notice to voters about the changes. This ensures that residents displaced by the storm can still cast their ballots. The order also loosens restrictions on requests for mail-in ballots and permits state employees to take paid administrative leave to serve as poll workers on election day. In counties like Charlotte, Citrus, Dixie, Hillsboro, Lee, Levy, Pinellas, Manatee, Sarasota, and Taylor, election officials are working to adapt voting processes. For example, in Sarasota County, officials are assessing which polling stations will be impacted and are planning to work with individual voters based on their specific circumstances. They are also encouraging voters to reach out if they need to send their mail-in ballots to new addresses. Hillsborough County, another affected area, has relocated only two polling stations due to hurricane damage, but all 27 early voting stations will be open from October 21st to November 3rd. Voters can also obtain null over the counter null ballots at one of the five offices in Hillsborough County if they wish to vote before early voting begins. The executive order also allows supervisors to mail ballots to voters' temporary addresses, similar to the process used for military or overseas voters. This flexibility is crucial for voters who have had to evacuate and are unable to return home, including those in nursing homes or hospitals. Despite these efforts, there is a concern that consolidating polling locations could reduce voter turnout. Research from the Brennan Center for Justice has shown that when polling locations are closed or consolidated after natural disasters, voters may be less likely to turn out because they have to travel farther to vote. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.